hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna to be ranking eight perfumes the mali fragrances yes i have eight perfumes the mali fragrances right here and i'm gonna be telling you my favorite one which would be my number one and i'm gonna be telling you my least favorite one which would be my number eight so if you want to find out what my favorite perfumes the mali fragrance is please guys don't go anywhere <laughs> Welcome back guys. Like I said, I have eight perfumes the Mali fragrances here. I have four of them in the full bottle presentations where I have four official perfumes the Mali samples and I'm going to be getting into all of them. But before I jump in guys, if this is your first time on my channel and you like fragrances, you enjoy this type of content, please subscribe to my channel and also feel free to like and share my videos. Guys, don't forget to click the bell icon so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video that way. You don't miss out on any videos so guys perfumes de mali is a niche fragrance house out of france i believe in paris and i discovered this fragrance house in 2018 and ever since i've fallen in love with a lot of the fragrances i've had some bottles in the past i currently own four full presentation bottles and then i have multiple samples guys i know i have to update my perfumes de mali collection most of my fragrances from Parfums de Mali are older ones. I don't have the latest ones. I don't have some of the ones that have been released like recently, which I'm looking forward to owning at some point. For example, I'm looking to add Greenly into my collection. I'm looking to add Pegasus exclusive. And I'm looking to add Ojan into my collection. I think those are the three Parfums de Mali that I'm looking to add to my personal collection. So guys, starting off, with number eight, which would be the least favorite out of all eight fragrances I have here. These Parfums de Mali fragrances are not the best in the world. These are just the ones that I own and the ones that I think should be on this video. I own some that didn't make it to this video, guys. I'm not also saying these fragrances are the best or safest blind buys. Coming at number eight, guys, which would be my least favorite Parfums de Mali fragrance from the eight that I have here. It'll be Galloway. I have it sprayed here guys and this is not bad this is not a bad fragrance but out of every other thing i own here this would be my least favorite and that's why it's coming at number eight galloway was launched in 2014 and this to me is a fresh fragrance this one is citrusy it's spicy it's slightly powdery guys but yeah it's it's not bad smelling guys but this is just my least favorite out of everything i own here or out of everything I'm going to be talking about today. Some of the notes on this one are citruses, pepper, amber, musk, and iris. Yeah, personally, I think this one is not entirely new. I've smelled something like this somewhere else. I've smelled something like this, even in the designer category. So I think this one is my least favorite of this list. And that's Galloway at number eight. We move on to number seven. So the next one I'm going to be talking about is a caster, guys. And I have it sprayed on here too. And right away, this one is not entirely new to me. This is a rose and oud combo fragrance. And I'm actually starting to get tired of them. There's a lot of them out there in different price categories. And this one isn't too, too different. I've smelled these somewhere else. I've smelled these pretty much everywhere. That's why it's number seven on my list, guys. But this one was launched in 2015. Some of the notes here are rose, oud, cypress, lemon, cardamom and lots of other notes. So guys, this DNA, this scent profile is not exactly new to me. It's not one I'm really excited about. The rose and oud combo, we all know how it's everywhere. And this one is no different. At least that's my opinion. And maybe that's why it's number seven on my list. So guys, this is my second least favorite Parfums de Mali fragrance. And that's a caster at number seven. We move on to number six, guys. So guys, coming at number six, we have Nisien. And that's this one guys this one smells like my type of fragrance actually this one is an oriental fragrance spicy oriental very resinous one i really really like but the only reason why i don't have a full bottle of this one is because it reminds me of a very popular fragrance and a lot of people might not agree with me but that's what i pick up from this fragrance and it's Amouage Jubilation 25, which I own. Maybe that's why I don't have a full bottle of this one, because I think it might just be redundant. So Nissien was launched in 2016, and some of the notes for this one are pink pepper, saffron, labdanum, olibanum, that would be incense, patchouli, amber. Like I said, guys, this one is very resinous. This one is 
my type of scent it's an oriental it's spicy i really really wanted to like this one but then again like i said it reminds me so much of jubilation 25 by amouage and that's probably why i don't have this fragrance like a full bottle of this fragrance anyways guys that's nisien by parfums de marley and that's my third least favorite parfums de marley fragrance and that's why it's coming at number six so guys coming at number five i have a very popular one here and a lot of people have good things to say about this one that's pegasus guys beautiful fragrance one i really like and one i seem to enjoy so much i just haven't bought a full bottle of this one i don't know why pegasus is a very beautiful scent guys I like the scent profile. It's beautiful, it's creamy, it's powdery, it's sweet. This one has some gourmand touches, guys. This one is beautiful. It's a beautiful scent. For some reason, when I first sampled Pegasus, I just didn't like it at the time. But uh, spending time with this sample, you know, I'm almost wanting to own a full bottle, even though I think I might like Pegasus exclusive even better. But I haven't put my nose on that one, but that's one from looking at the notes, I think I would prefer to the original. This one was launched in 2011 and some of the notes here are heliotrope, amber, almonds, sandalwood, vanilla, and I believe a lot of other notes. I think there's cumin in here, but there's lots of other notes that make this one a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. Yeah, but guys, that's number five on my list. I think this one is unisex, but it leans a little feminine to me, and that's maybe why I prefer or I would like... The exclusive version better but we'll see why guys that's pegasus at number five and we move on to number four so guys at this point i'm going to be showing you full bottle presentations these are the ones that i own currently and i might be telling you a little bit more about the scents because i own these ones and i've worn them for a while and i know more about these ones so coming at number four guys it's none other than latin the original yes latin guys Beautiful citrus, fresh, woody, slightly floral kind of scent. Beautiful scent, guys. Latin was my second full bottle from Parfums de Mali. And when I got Latin, I wasn't too, too happy with it. I wasn't too, too excited. It didn't just wow me at the time. I wasn't too excited about this one. But yeah, it's a decent fragrance. I find this to be unisex, but leaning more to the masculine side. This is one of those fragrances I would wear pretty much any time of the year, but it's great for summer and spring. It's fresh, it's floral, it's woody, it's beautiful. A lot of people like this one. You get lots of compliments wearing Latin. A lot of people like this one. It has a huge, huge following, guys. But then, it's number four on my list. I think this one performs excellently in the heat and I also think this one is a classy scent. So guys, that's Latin, the original, coming at number four on my list and that would be my fourth favorite Parfums de Mali fragrance. We move on to number three. So guys, coming at number three, I have Latin Exclusive, which is my third favorite Parfums de Mali fragrance. Yes, guys. So a lot of you might have seen my Latin exclusive review on my channel. If you haven't watched that one, you can check it out, guys. Latin exclusive did it for me. As at the time when I got Latin, like I said, I wasn't too happy at that time. But with Latin, it just didn't wow me as much. So I went for Latin exclusive. Actually, guys, I'm hoping I have the same experience with Pegasus and Pegasus exclusive. I like Pegasus, guys. I like the scent, but I'm not moved to go for a full bottle just yet. But that's why I'm looking to try Pegasus exclusive. So I'm hoping to have the same experience like I did with Latin and Latin exclusive. We'll see what happens, guys. But Latin exclusive was launched in 2017. Here we have pretty much the same DNA like Latin, but with a deeper darker experience and i like this one better guys it's richer for me it has more depth and that's the way i like my scents so with this one you have bergamot grapefruit pretty much the same notes but with added notes like coffee and i believe the civet added in here it just makes it more oriental more to my taste and that's why i prefer this one over the original and also that's why this one is ranking higher than the original on my list so guys that's latin exclusive i think this one is unisex also but leaning more to the masculine side excellent performance with this one this one is a beast mode 
fragrance on my skin. I would say Latin, the original, would be better for spring and summer, while Latin exclusive is better for the fall and winter. Great scent, guys, and that's number three on my list, and that's Latin exclusive. So coming at number two, guys, is my second favorite Parfums de Mali fragrance, guys. Yes, and it's none other than Herod. Herod is one of my favorite all-time scents. It's just so gorgeous, guys. I think this one is a winner. Herod needs no introduction, guys. A lot of people know this scent. A lot of people like this scent. It's just one of the best from the house in general. So with Herod, you get tobacco, you get vanilla, the cinnamon. There's some incense here, I believe. Just a beautiful, beautiful scent. There's lots of notes going on in Herod here. I have a full review of this one on my channel. You can check it out and see what I think about this fragrance. But yeah, this one is a gourmand to me. I'm starting to see Herod as a gourmand scent. Herod to me goes into gourmand territories, at least on my skin. It smells so yummy and inviting and it's sexy, guys. I think this is unisex. It's perfect for date nights great for the fall i only wish she performed better but you know when you like a scent so much you can always reapply as you go so yes guys that's herod and that's my second favorite perfumes de mali fragrance so my favorite perfumes de mali fragrance and that would be number one on my list is carlisle yes guys carlisle is my favorite perfumes de mali fragrance for a lot of reasons this one is a beautiful scent gets me compliments people like this one on me i get great performance from this one this is a beast mode fragrance too in my opinion i think anybody can pull this one off a lady can wear this one a man can wear this one some of the notes with this one are nutmeg green apples tonka beans rose patchouli vanilla and a lot of other notes guys it's a beautiful scent i love this one so much it was a blind buy for me and this one was my first perfumes de mali fragrance ever guys this is a this is one scent i would always cherish so much it's so special to me beautiful projection great sears excellent longevity i think this one is great for the winter time maybe the fall but yeah it's just so great so guys that's carlisle and that's my favorite perfumes the marley fragrance and that's my number one from this list so guys tell me what you think about this video tell me what you think about this list Tell me what you think about Parfums de Mali, Fragrance House in general, and what you think about the fragrances. Also, guys, let me know your favorite ones. Let me know some of the ones you like on my list. Let me know some of the ones you think I should check out in the future. Guys, that's the end of this video, and thank you for watching, and thank you for sticking till the end. I hope you like this video. Once again, if you're new to my channel and you like this type of content, you like what I do, you want to support me, please subscribe to my channel, and also feel free to like and share my videos. Guys, I'm going to keep it moving. I'll see you in my next video. And until then, please stay safe and bye-bye.